This is Phil Johnston, Packet Tracer 92110, and in here we're going to configure standard ACLs, or access control list. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and implement this, and we're going to start with R2. Do enable, configure terminal, then we're going to do access list 1, deny, we're going to deny this IP address. And we're going to do a wildcard mask. And then, by default, everything pretty much gets denied. So we're going to go ahead and also permit some things here, too. So we're going to go ahead and permit anything that is not that address. Then we're going to also go to our interface gigabit zero slash zero. We're going to do IP access group one out. So it's going to anything that tries to to go out that interface basically will be blocked when it deals with that one address that we put up, up above here. Alright, and then the next step is we're going to do R3. Do enable configure terminal. And we're going to do access list one deny. We're going to do another IP address that we're going to deny. So 192.168.10.0 with the wildcard mask of 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255. And we're going to do since we did the deny, we're also going to do what we want to permit. So it's going to be so our access list one will be doing a permit of any. So anything that's not that deny. And we're going to do interface G0 slash zero. And an IP access group one out. So anything in this interface, anything that tries to go out of it will be denied when it comes to being this IP address right here. All right, so now we're going to go back to R2. And we're going to do the command. First, we're going to do end. And we're going to do show access list. And it shows right there what we deny and what we're permitting. And then we'll do the same thing in R3. Do end here. And then show access list. And there we go. And then the next step is I want to do show. IP interface G0 slash 0. If you see right here, the outgoing access list is 1, so it, it is set. And then we can also do the same thing for R2. We're going to do show IP interface G0 slash 0. And you'll see the access list is one. So that's the name that we gave to it as a number. All right, now let's go ahead and start pinging some things here. So we're going to go on PC1. And we're basically going to be pinging our net, next network over. So we're pinging PC2 with PC1. And now we're going to ping up on top here to our web server. So it's going to be 192.168.20.254. And it always requests timed out because of the ARP table it creates. So now the ARP table is created, and that's why it pings successfully. Now, if we go ahead and we go right here to this network for our PC2, we created a condition so that it won't allow anything 
to get to the web server from this ser from this PC. So we're going to ping 192.168.20.254. So nothing should go through. So there we go. So now we know we configured that correctly. And we also did router 3 and made it so that router 1 shouldn't be able to get through. So we're going to go ahead and ping 192.168.30.10. So we're basically pinging from this network to that network. And since we blocked it, it won't go through. And then you'll notice if we do PC2 and we ping one, we go ping 192. Dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot ten. That it does go through because it just had to make an arc table right there. And then our last part is we're going to be pinging our PC three to our web server up here. So it's going to be 192.168.20.254. And it does go through because we didn't tell it to be blocked. And that concludes the activity. And you see the completion, it says 100 out of 100. Check the results and everything is good.